Hi, my name's Margaret Marty, and I am a moderate Republican, have voted Republican since high school when I graduated my first election, and that was for Reagan, and have voted Republican ever since. I tend to be moderate in my views. I don't swing too far to the left or too far to the right. I live in Montana. <laughs> it's tricky politics here. Um... The line started moving during Obama's first term. I noticed the line was starting to move between what was Republican, what was Democrat, what was liberal, what was conservative. The Tea Party movement was taking effect, and I wasn't ready to swing that far to the right. I felt it was a bit extreme. Um, I started to see things more objectively, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, um, the last election, Hillary and Donald. Honestly, I didn't vote. I sat it out. Couldn't do it. I wanted a woman president, but I didn't want it to be Hillary. Too much baggage. Too much bad history. And that wasn't how I wanted our first woman president to be represented in history. Trump, I couldn't vote for. He, um, he represented everything I taught my kids not to be. I raised my daughters and my son to be honest, fair, hardworking, impartial, um, judge people by their character, by their actions, not by their, their gender, their, their class, their race, None of that. Um, am I proud? No. I did nothing. Did nothing. I didn't vote for the first time. And then a friend recommended a book to me called um, They Thought They Were Free by Milton Mayer. He went back to Germany, I think in the 50s, and he interviewed 10 just common German citizens. And they lived in the outskirts. But here's what he said in this book that hit me. And it helped me understand how a civilized nation had wound up in mob rule, which is what I feel like has happened to this country lately. And here's what they said. He said in his book, The German community, the rest of the 70 million Germans, apart from the million or so who operated the whole machinery of Nazism had nothing to do except not to interfere. Absolutely nothing was expected of them except to go on as they had, paying their taxes, reading their local paper, and listening to the radio. They did nothing. Majority of the people did not support him, but they didn't oppose him either. They sat at home, lived their lives, and whatever happened, happened. I think that's how we got here. Michelle Obama, in an interview at one point, said she was disappointed in how many people sat at home, didn't vote, and did nothing. And now here we are. Um, I'm not going to do nothing. That's not my nature. I'm voting Democrat for the first time in my life. I'm voting for Joe Biden, who I didn't know a lot about. But the more I read and the more I researched, I realized this this is someone we need to seriously consider. When he picked Kamala, I was thrilled. I was in tears. That was the most perfect person he could have picked. She represented everything that is strong about this country and about women. What a wonderful person to have go down in history as the first female VP. If we're lucky, maybe more. <laughs> so I'm voting this year. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do nothing. I'm going to vote. And I'm going to vote in a way that even surprises me. And I'm proud of that. And I'm not ashamed of voting Democrat this year. I think it's the right thing to do. And I think we need to do something. Sitting around doing nothing got us where we're at today.